United Nations inquiry found Thursday Israeli forces may have committed war crimes and crimes against humanity by targeting unarmed protesters in Gaza with lethal force, including children, journalists and the disabled. The report by the U.N. Human Rights Council looked at Israel's bloody response to weekly Great March of Return demonstrations launched by Palestinians in Gaza nearly a year ago, targeting Israel's heavily militarized separation barrier. The report found Israeli forces killed 189 Palestinians, almost all of them with live ammunition. This is Sarah Hussein, a member of the U.N. Independent Commission that led the investigation. We are saying that they have intentionally shot children, they have intentionally shot people with disabilities, um, they have intentionally shot journalists, knowing them to be children, people with disabilities and journalists. That some of the children, not all of the children are visibly children perhaps, but many of them are, as, as Commissioner Murungi just said. The journalists were all marked with press vests that we investigated, um, and the people with disabilities, as I said, a person, a double amputee in a wheelchair, a person using crutches, they were visibly that, and they are being shot at by snipers who also have spotters available with them, who have high, very high-level technology available to see who's out there in the field. The U.N. report calls on states to arrest, quote, persons alleged to have committed or who ordered to have committed the international crimes, unquote, or to seek their extradition. Israel's acting foreign minister dismissed the report as theater of the absurd. Meanwhile, Israel's attorney general Thursday said he will indict Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on charges of bribery, fraud and breach of trust. Netanyahu is accused of trading political favors for positive press coverage and separately for hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of luxury goods, including jewelry, cigars and champagne. The charges come just weeks before an April 9th election that will see Netanyahu try to hold together his fragile ruling coalition.